Hello everyone and welcome to the Make a Joyful Noise podcast. It is May 1st, 2020. My name is Adam Trotman and I am so glad you've decided to join me today. Uh, Let me begin with a big apology for being away for a few weeks. Um, I am, however, very excited to be back with you today, speaking with you all. Um, Today I'd like to share with you the podcast that I had planned to, to do on Easter Sunday. Um, so I, I, um, I think it's just very important to, uh, to hear. And, um, so if you'll just bear with me, I, um, I really want you to hear this one. So uh, I hope you enjoy and, uh, let's, let's begin our time together. Um, what an amazing day Easter is. This is, you know, this is the day that our faith, our belief and our father proves that he is the one true God, the Savior of our sins. You know, Easter is our victory day. So regardless of the current circumstances, let's be joyful. Let's rejoice today because Jesus has risen and our sins are forgiven and we have every victory today and every day with Jesus. And, you know, honestly, we need to start treating every day like Easter Sunday. Because, you know, it isn't just one day a year that we have victory in Jesus. It isn't just one day a year that we can rejoice in his raising from the grave. It's every single day of every single year. So make Easter every day. Make your faith strong every day. So let's jump right into it. For today's songs, I've, I've chosen to talk about the Old Rugged Cross traditional hymn. And uh, Hope for the Future by Paul McCartney. Now, our Bible verse for today comes from Proverbs chapter 24, verse 14. It says this, Know also that wisdom is like honey for you. If you find it, there is a future hope for you, and your hope will not be cut off. Let's, uh, Let's pray. God, I want to thank you for a a wonderful day today, a day that our faith is renewed in you, and a day that we can can rejoice in the fact that we know we have a true Savior, Jesus in heaven. Bless this time together, Lord, and may may your Holy Spirit move within us all. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, God tells us that all we have to do is believe in his son, Jesus, and we'll have a future better than anything we could have hoped for. And that's why it's so important that we do cling to the old rugged cross, and we will have hope for the future. Now, if you can't tell, I am a very big Beatles fan. Um, uh, several of my podcasts have include, uh, included Beatles songs, and today is no different. Um, Paul McCartney's song, Hope for the Future, it has such a positive and uplifting message. Uh, The opening phrase of the song, it speaks clearly of the joys that are waiting for us. So the song opens with these words. It says, some hope for the future, some wait for the call to say that the days ahead will be the best of all. I mean, you know, it's no, it's no secret that Every one of us hope for a better future for ourselves, our children, grandchildren, and so on. And what this song speaks of is that we can shape our own future. You know, if we go into our days with a positive, happy attitude, then then you're going to have a positive and, and happy day, no matter what's thrown your way. But if you go into your days with resentment, and negativity, then your days will be nothing but that, negative and downputting. So I think it's important that we all start to realize that our future is is based on the way we begin every day. We can shape our future. We can shape how each day turns out for us. And, you know, with the song Old Rugged Cross, it it speaks of just more hope and more faith. If you're uh, an enjoyer of the traditional hymns, this is probably one of your favorite ones. 
and it opens like this. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and blessed, for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it some day for a crown. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, very briefly, I'd like to uh, I'd like to break down the, the words of this song because it's very interesting if you really think about it. The song begins with, On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. You know, we are, we're talking about an image here of, of something that is way far away in the distance. It's, it's old. It's rugged. You know, it's a torture device, in all honesty. The cross, it's a, it is, it's, it's truly an emblem of suffering and shame. It is meant to torture and to kill. But we love that cross. We love that image. And the why is so important. It is so important. We love it because on that cross, the sins of the world, from the beginning of history until the end of history, every sin that would ever happen was put onto that cross. It was put onto Jesus. And he took it all. And he said, forgive them, Father. And in that moment, Jesus forgave us all of our sins. Today, yesterday, and every day. From here on, all we have to do is believe in Him, believe in Jesus, believe in His sacrifice, and follow His word. And then when we lay down our trophies, we'll get the best prize of all. We will stand side by side with Jesus in heaven and all of our loved ones, and we will win and have every victory in Jesus. So put all your faith in the one true Savior, Jesus Christ, and you'll have riches beyond measure. You know, I want you to think about what are you ready to experience? What are you ready to experience when you meet God in heaven? You got to make sure, though, that you are ready for your future. Is your heart right with God? Is Jesus your Lord and Savior? If he is not, then it's, it's so simple. All you have to do is go to him in prayer and ask him to come into your life and forgive you of your sins. Follow his word and your life will be changed in a way you could have never imagined. So you know, I think it's time that we all get ready for that great getting up morning. And uh, you know, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today. I'm so excited to be back speaking with you all. Um... If you are able, I want you to check out the link in the description of this video. That link is going to take you to the donation page of this podcast series. Um, your donations do help make this podcast reach more people that need to hear God's Word. And uh, it, it also helps make sure that this podcast is at the best it can be. Um, so that God's Word is, is spread in every way possible. Also, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so that you'll never miss a, an episode of the podcast as they come out. Um, and I want to thank you all for tuning in today. It's such a joy to speak with you. Until next time, I pray that God bless each and every one of you. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. <laughs>